So some of the big trends that we're seeing that are affecting the world of work are technology and particularly the pace of change in technology that we're seeing which is accelerating dramatically at the moment. There's a lot of talk about disruptive innovation and how that's changing again the way many people do their jobs. And there's also an increasingly strong demand from the people who are entering the workforce now for a different deal with their employer. It's a highly unpredictable environment and we thought by looking at three different worlds and giving companies some insight into what the impact of each of those potential future worlds might be, they would be able to think more about things they need to do today that would set them up well for the future. The blue world is the world where corporate is king, where organisations are so large they may have more power than governments do today. Those huge corporations that would touch every aspect of life, would touch every aspect of what individuals do. When you look at the blue world and you think about what that means for HR, understanding trends in, in where talent might go, how best to use people, looking at the strengths of individuals, the ability to tap into the data that already exists today. In the blue world, we think that would be extended and become much more important into how you run your business. Green world is about organisations starting to change their motivation away from short-term profitability, more into how do you become sustainable. I think really the, the distinctive factor about HR in the green world for me would be the way in which it needs to become part of the brand enhancing capability of the organisation. So thinking about how its employees and the way it treats its employees and the way that they interact with society really enhances the brand of that organisation. People would be attracted to organisations, but not only because of their product, but because of what they stand for. The orange world is a world where innovation dominates, where you have much smaller organisations. Organisations draw talent from lots and lots of different places. How individuals manage their own careers, how they loan out their labour to corporations, how the conveners of talent become successful. For HR in the orange world, I think it would be quite different to how it is today. I think they would be predominantly focused outside of the organisation rather than on internal development activity. Don't think of HR so much, think of procurement, but think of procurement on steroids. One that is focused around using new digital technology to bid for talent in the right location. The work that we've done shows that only some 20% of the organisations we spoke to really felt they were on top of the impact that technology was going to have on their workforce. So no, I don't think technology is fully understood and the impact on the world of work is absolutely not understood. I think if there were two things that I would like people to take away from this report. One is to understand the dramatic shift in the world of work that is going to happen over the next few years, impacted by technology, impacted by data, and impacted by demographic shifts and economic shifts. And the second most important thing that they should take from this report is they need to start planning today. What they do today will have a massive impact on the ability for them to adapt to the future as it evolves. Businesses have a relatively short-term time horizon. These changes are fundamental and long-lasting, so you've got to project forward over the horizon and think about how that's going to change the way they will get work done. People will still play the most important part in any business, because that intellectual capital that businesses hold will be the thing that distinguishes them from the competition. Thank you.